Hi everyone, I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Soaper. Soap making is my creative outlet and this channel is all about soap making. Today, I would like to share with you a soap design technique for your cold process soap using soda bottle. From now on, you better keep your soda bottle because you can still use that for your next soap making project. Without further ado, let's get started! The ingredients that I use today are 5 oil blend, lye, fragrance oil, neon yellow pigment, neon red pigment, blue mica, titanium dioxide, and activated charcoal. First, let us disperse our colorants in oil. I've used the mini mixer to ensure that the colorants are properly dispersed and to avoid color specks in the final bar. Here I have used 1 teaspoon per pound of oil colorant load. Both lye and oil are at room temperature now, about 30-ish for both and I don't have to heat my oils because I stay in a tropical climate. The oil stays melted except during rainy seasons. I always prepare my oil blend and lye in advance and I normally master batch a quantity that is good for 15 to 20 small batches for efficiency and consistency. It also helps me to eliminate other factors and variables especially when I am testing fragrance oil and colorants. Next, let us slowly pour 37% lye solution into the 5 oil blend. This 5 oil blend contains pure olive oil, sustainable palm oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, and castor oil. For the lye, it was calculated at 5% super fat using my own soap lye calculator at www.mysoapcalc.com soap. It is a free tool that you can use to make your own soap recipes. Go and give it a try. I'll put the link in the description box below. Then we have to swirl it gently until we reach an emulsion. You can use a stick blender if you prefer, but for me, I am using my no stick blender technique. I had the stick blender, but I really like the traditional way of mixing soap. Unlike ancient days when soap bakers have to mix and stir oil and lye for a couple of hours or days to get the correct consistency, we can do it in less than a few minutes when we use a higher concentration of lye solution. As you have noticed, the emulsion stays fluid even if the concentration is high because of the gentle hand mixing and low temperature. I've added the fragrance. The fragrance load is 3.5% and my target here is a mild and gently scented soap bar. Today I've decided to use butterfly kisses. I can smell the floral scent of rose and carnation combined with the fresh scent of greenery. Then we have to slowly stir it again. And now we are ready to divide our soap butter. I've decided to divide the soap water into 5 portions and pour it into the beaker containing the colorant in oil suspension. Then I stirred it again. As you can see, I am vigorously stirring the butter until trace. Now we are ready to pour the soap butter into the mold and let's start to design our soap. Here is the soda bottle. I cut the bottom near the curve and we can use this as a tool. I am using my slap mold. I poured the white soap butter in the center and placed our improvised tool in the middle. Then I've decided to alternately pour into the improvised tool. The design that it will produce looks exactly like the one produced in a column pour, but the difference is the column pour tool is about 30 US dollars, including shipping in Amazon. This one costs nothing, and Mother Earth will be very happy because we recycled the plastic.
After pouring all the colors, I've decided to use a chopstick to create a flower design. Then, I slightly rotated the soda bottle. Uh, this step is optional, but I just did that to create the dimension between the flower layers. As you may have noticed, the soda bottle is a bit short. Um, maybe for the improvement area, um, I will cut the soda bottle to around 2 to 3 inches high next time instead of just approximately about 1 inch high. I also plan to add some weight inside the improvised tool so that it stays in one place after I pour. Even without it, it is still okay. Uh, so far, it still worked for me. While I continue to design this soap, let's have a quick chit chat. Last week, I shared with you my egg soap. I was actually surprised because I thought it is common for soap makers to add eggs in soap. I made my first egg soap a few decades ago and I really like the after feel and I normally would make egg soap from time to time. Going back here, I hope that you like the design that uh, we have today uh, and I also hope that you also like the design that is coming out from this improvised soda bottle. I would also like to share something about this channel. Yesterday, this channel hit 9,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me, Soap Sisters and Bubble Brothers. This means a lot to me, except for my family who always supported me in whatever I do. I don't know anyone who likes to make soap as much as I do. Until I started sharing my soap making videos here, the main intent is to actually share it to my parents because as you all know, I am an overseas Filipino worker and I am away from home. Soap making helps me to battle homesickness. It is also my creative outlet. I made my first soap at the age of 13 and I always felt that somewhere out there, there should be another person um, who actually shares the same passion. But now, I don't feel so alone because all of you are here and you've joined me in my soap making journey since day one. I cannot thank you enough. Um, whenever I post a new video here in my channel, I always patiently wait for your comments and I always want to reply as soon as I read the message or the comment. Because, of course, sometimes there are some delays. Because I stay in a different time zone, a different continent. But please know that I always pray uh, for all of you. And I always pray that our soap making family would continue to grow. Really thankful that you all are here. And that you can take my high pitch voice and my fussiness. <laughs> I cannot do anything about that anymore. So thank you so much for accepting me for who I am. After three days, I've unmolded the soap. And now, let us cut the slab with my improvised slab cutter. I made this by myself. Here, I've decided to clean up the edges first with the string cutter before I cut the soap into half. While I continue with this, here is the question of the day or our QOTD. What do you think about the soda bottle tool? Is it yay or nay? Let me know by writing it down in the comment section below. After the slab mold, I moved to cut the soap using my favorite soap cutter, Red Sparkle. I produced four bars of mild and gently scented butterfly kisses cold process soap. I hope that you enjoyed our soap making session today. And I thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I am Kathy, the Clumsy Soaper. And if you are new here, 
I hope that you would consider subscribing into my channel for a weekly soap making video, DIY tutorials, and a lot more. Hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when I release new content here in my channel. Just like you, soap making is my passion and I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we can learn and grow together. Thank you so much, Soap Sisters and Bubble Brothers, and happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless! And um, happy birthday to my papa, who is now in heaven. I love you so much and I miss you. And happy birthday to my nephew, Harry. I love you so much, Harry. I miss you.